animation that you just saw is a trend that I'm seeing more and more on social media and you should not get left behind. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own and best of all, it is completely free using AI tools and it is quick to do. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to show you the exact prompts that I used. I'm going to show you that you can modify them to your own liking. And by the end of this video, you're going to be able to join the trend yourself. Just a quick reminder, if you want to stay up to date with the latest AI tools, AI news, AI everything, click the subscribe button. It is completely free. I cover AI on a daily basis. So let's get started. We're going to need a way to generate an image. So here we have OpenAI, ChatGPT, and we're going to put in this prompt here, create a 3D isometric pastel illustration of a cozy gamer room with dark gray walls and a soft brown floor. Furnish it with black and red gaming chair, some game controllers, and a light wooden desk holding up a gaming monitor, keyboard, and a can of soda. So we are going to submit this through, and I'm also going to go on to Gemini, and I'm going to submit it through as well. So both of these tools are completely free for you to use, and you can actually generate images with both of these tools. You can pick one or the other. You can kind of compare. You can say, okay, which one came out better? This is the one I want to use. So so in this prompt here, you might want to change what you want. So you might want to change from a gamer room to something different. Maybe you don't want dark gray walls and a soft brown floor. Maybe you want a different style of room. You can do that as well. You can change what the room is furnished with. So we can kind of see here, let me zoom out so you can see it a little bit better. We can see here the room that it just created. We have our 3D isometric room, which is pretty cool. And this is Gemini. You can always go back and add additional details, like include a pizza slice on the desk and a plate, decorate black and red curtains with a window, a wall clock, a simple rectangular frame, and a metallic lamp, and then use soft and cool lighting and a polished, playful style. So we can always adjust how we want our image to look before we even do anything else. So you can prompt it, give it all these tweaks, make it your own, and then you can move on to the next step. Here is what it looks like currently, and this is on Gemini, and let's go see ChatGPT. So we have our ChatGPT creation here. It gave us two versions. So we have version one and version two. They're pretty similar. Now we are going to add an image with this prompt here. Place me sitting naturally on the gamer chair in the miniature room scene, playing a game casually on the computer, match my appearance, hairstyle, clothing, precisely from my uploaded photo. So we have added a photo and it's going to regenerate the photo of AI Dana in the room. So we're gonna try it on Gemini as well. So on Gemini, we have the same exact prompt, but we can add something like use realistic proportions, but with a slightly larger head and upper body and smaller legs. So it's gonna add that like little cartoon effect to our image. So we now have the Gemini version where her head is a little bit bigger and it looks kind of funny, but this is what we prompted it. We wanted that cartoon style look and it looks like she's playing Minecraft on the screen. And then if we come back to ChatGPT, let me show you what this one did. This one removed her legs. And I said, include her legs. So it recreated it and here she is. The last step in the process is to animate these. The first tool I'm gonna to show you is Kling AI. And if you sign up, you can get some free credits and you can come here to this tab here, video generation, image to video. We're going to upload the image that we just created and we are going to give it a prompt. So the lady is playing Minecraft on her computer. Her hands are moving as she clicks buttons on the controller. So we can click generate and it is going to start making this video for us. The next tool I'm going to show you is Minimax. And this one again is free. There's like limits. You get three generations per day, but we have uploaded the OpenAI one and we have the prompt the lady spins on her chair to face the computer as the monitor comes on showing her operating system. So we can hit create. Let's try the same exact thing, but using VO3. So we're gonna use frame to video and using the same exact prompt. And let's see how this one comes out. And our first one is finished here. And you can see her playing on the controller. There's Minecraft happening in the background. It's just kind of like zooming in and it is animated. We have the VO version here. So she's clicking away. You can see the screen in the background going. We can kind of see a reflection on the clock. It's pretty good. 
and then we have the mini max version so we can kind of see her monitor turn on she's lifting up a mouse with another mouse underneath it looks kind of funny you can see it over here uh but pretty good overall you can obviously customize these you can change what is in the room you can change what's around the person you can change the person itself it's very customizable but it is kind of a fun little way of using ai to create a really cool outcome and if you enjoy videos like this again don't forget to subscribe for more ai content and like the video it tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one. I thought it was fun. And I will see you tomorrow with another AI video. AI tools, AI news, AI prompts you can use. It's all for free. Just come and see. At FranklinAI.com where you're meant to be.